After a disastrous day at his criminal trial where there was a contempt hearing held earlier in the morning, and then David Pecker, the former head of AMI, which owned the National Enquirer, testified throughout the day about his catch-and-kill scheme deal directly made with Donald Trump to find bad stories on Donald Trump, buy them out, and then not publish those stories to benefit Donald Trump's 2016 campaign. Pecker couldn't have been more clear. After all of that went down, Donald Trump left the courtroom, and what did he do? He went out into the hall after the proceedings concluded with that stack of articles that his team prints for him. Donald Trump has someone on his payroll. Her name is Natalie Harp and her job is to print flattering headlines for Donald Trump so he can read them during the trial, and then he like redacts the parts of them that he doesn't like, and then he goes out to the media and holds this picture book that they make for him. Here, Donald Trump goes out to the media holding the picture book that his team made for him, and he complains that he can't read the printouts of the articles that his team printed for him, after his disastrous day in trial. Play the clip. And even having to do with articles, somebody writes an article. If I read every one of these articles incomplete, I read some of them and I'll look at headlines, all good headlines, and the case is a sham. But I can't read the whole thing. I'd be reading, this is like reading a novel. So I put an article in and then somebody's name is mentioned somewhere deep in the article and I end up in violation of the gag order. Uh, I think it's a disgrace, it's totally unconstitutional. I don't believe it's never, not to this extent, ever happened before. And then as part of that press conference, Donald Trump whines how he's in courtroom all day and he has to sit up and it's very difficult for him to sit up. Here, play this clip. But he's out campaigning. He's out campaigning, and I'm here in a courtroom sitting here, uh, giving, uh, sitting up as straight as I can all day long because you know what? It's a very unfair situation. So we're locked up in a courtroom, but this guy's out there uh, campaigning. If you go to campaign, every time he opens his mouth, he gets himself into trouble. Then Donald Trump whines that he has to sit there in court. And he's not allowed to talk about other people, but he says people are allowed to talk about him, and he thinks that's very unfair, and so he wants to go out and whine about it. Play this clip. And I don't even know if you're allowed to put him in. We have a gag on which to me is totally unconstitutional. I'm not allowed to talk, but people are allowed to talk about me. So they can talk about me, they can say whatever they want, they can lie. But I'm not allowed to say anything. I just have to sit back and uh, look at why a conflicted judge has ordered me to have a gag order. I don't think anybody's ever seen anything like this. I'd love to talk to you people. I'd love to say everything that's on my mind. But I'm restricted because I have a gag order. Then Donald Trump says that the gag order is totally unconstitution, he says. He says the gag order is unconstitution and he can't even be allowed to put articles in. He wants to put the articles in. Whatever that means, here, play this clip. But you can believe he's gonna talk a great deal about how he feels about all of this. The gag order is totally unconstitutional. Uh, can't even allow articles to be put in. As an example, these are articles that were over the last day and a half. They're very good articles, I tell you the case is a sham. It shouldn't even be tried. It shouldn't have been submitted. And I don't even know if you're allowed to put them in. We have a gag order. You know, and we've previously reported and we shared with you some of the reporting this from Futurism, it's called, um, how Trump has an aide who follows him around with a wireless printer to print out good news from the internet. You'll recall last week when Donald Trump left the courtroom, 
He walked out with that picture book as well that his team made for him, where he flipped through all of these articles. And he was like, you see media, look, these, look at these articles. These are, I can't even find a bad one here. Look at all of these articles. Do you, do you remember that? Play this clip. A trial that really is a very unfair trial. These are all stories. This is over the last few days. From legal experts, this is Wall Street Journal editorial. But all of these are stories from legal experts saying how this is not a case. Uh, the case is ridiculous. This is another one. The case is a ridiculous Trump indictment. It's missing fraud. There is no fraud. Uh, all of these uh, stories are stories of how, and these are done by the experts and editorials, brag falsified business record, and uh, he falsifies them. He's the one. He's the fraud. But take a look at all of these are our stories. You see them here. Uh, yeah, Donald Trump pays Natalie Harp, that employee, about $8,500 a month. Um, I think she's made to date over $105,000 or so since 2022. When Donald Trump's not in the courtroom and he's golfing, she follows him around in a golf cart with the portable printer to hand him over articles from right-wing media that he finds flattering. I mean, folks. How pathetic can you be that you have to hire someone who walks around with a portable printer to print out flattering articles about you and hands them to you and then you still remove portions that you think aren't good enough for you. But that's what Donald Trump's doing. Do you know that traditional bed sheets can harbor more bacteria than a toilet seat? It could lead to acne, allergies, and stuffy noses, and it's just gross. Miracle Made offers a whole line of self-cleaning antibacterial bedding, such as sheets, pillowcases, and comforters that prevent up to 99.7% of bacteria growth and require up to three times less laundry. Using silver-infused fabrics inspired by NASA, Miracle Made sheets are thermoregulating and designed to keep you at the perfect temperature all night long. So you get better sleep every night. These sheets are infused with silver that prevent up to 99.7% of bacterial growth, leaving them to stay cleaner and fresh three times longer than other sheets. No more gross odors. Miracle Made sheets are luxuriously comfortable without the high price tag of other luxury brands and feel as nice, if not nicer, than sheets used by some five star hotels. So stop sleeping on bacteria. Bacteria could clog your pores, causing breakouts and acne. Sleep clean with Miracle. Go to trymiracle.com slash Midas to try Miracle Made sheets today. And whether you're buying them for yourself or as a gift for a loved one, if you order today, you can save over 40%. And if you use our promo code MIDAS at checkout, you'll get three free towels and save an extra 20%. Miracle is so confident in their product, it's backed with a 30-day money-back guarantee. So if you aren't 100% satisfied, you'll get a full refund. Upgrade your sleep with Miracle Made. Go to trymiracle.com slash Midas and use the code Midas, that's M-E-I-D-A-S, to claim your free three-piece towel set and save over 40% off. Again, that's trymiracle.com slash Midas to treat yourself. Thank you, Miracle Made, for sponsoring this episode. You know, and again, as I mentioned earlier in this video, a horrible day for Donald Trump in the courtroom at that contempt hearing. Justice Mershon looked at Donald Trump's lawyer, Todd Blanche, and said, you are absolutely losing all credibility with me as Trump's lawyer tried to argue that Donald Trump's doing his best to try to follow the gag order. He's really working hard to follow the gag order. And Justice Mershon's like, don't do that here. We know that that's not what's happening. Also, Todd Blanche tried to say, look, when Donald Trump reposts some of these articles, when he reposts and reprints the articles or interposes the articles on his social media, he's not saying it. That can't be a gag order violation. To which Justice Mershon said, do you have any case law, any cases that say that if you threaten or intimidate a witness or a family member, of this court or the district attorney by using other people's articles that you're immune from any repercussions to which Todd Blanche said, I don't have any case law about that to which Justice Mershon said, and let me point this out as well. 
Donald Trump didn't just repost other people's articles. Donald Trump took statements and manipulated the statements. Like Donald Trump attributed quotes that people actually didn't say to attack the jury or to threaten and harass witnesses. Trump made his own quotes. He changed the words of the people. And you may know from watching the Midas Touch Network that we had covered how Donald Trump would take these articles and he would manipulate the articles and then he would repost them with stuff that was redacted that he didn't like from the articles. And he's been doing this consistently. So what we figured out here at the Midas Touch Network putting this all together is that Trump employs this Natalie Harp who he pays significant amounts of money to follow him with the portable printer that he sits there in court or wherever he is with his sharpie she already hands him the flattering articles he then takes the flattering articles and if there's any references to anything in the flattering article from right-wing media that he doesn't like he takes a sharpie he removes those portions from the article that he doesn't like. He hands them back to Natalie Harp or he shows them to the media or he posts it on his social media or has someone post it for him that are manipulated articles. And he's done this like 25 times in March. He's done it numerous times already in April. You know, when we're seeing that play out and he goes out there with that picture book whining and complaining. And the bottom line is it's just so odd. It's so disturbing. It's so whiny. It's so petulant it's so petty i mean this malignant narcissism is through the roof right here and we're finally had to see though today donald trump have to watch his buddy david pecker say yeah look we entered into a deal the deal was to interfere with the 2016 election i was finding bad stories on him and then i would pay them off that didn't benefit me it was to benefit his 2016 campaign that's why i did it i mean it was devastating devastating for donald trump but he's got his picture book folks he's got his picture book i'm ben mycellus from the midas touch network hit subscribe let's get to three million together have a wonderful day